it can be devastating. The question is, what's the best treatment? With us now is Dr. Howard Brooks. He's a dermatologist at Georgetown Skin. Doctor, good to have you back yeah, here with us. Me. The last time you were here, we focused on adults mm. with acne. Right. And this time we're talking about the teens, and mm. I guess most teens have experienced right. acne to some degree. Mm. Why is that? Why is it a, a fact of life in an adolescence growing up? Well, that's a good question. And as we all do go into our teenage years, that's when our oil glands start to, start to enlarge, start to activate, and our skin becomes more oily, all of us, whether we're male or female, no matter what the ethnicity, and that's when the acne starts to develop. Since we did talk about adults the last time, if you were the child of an adult who had mm -hmm. acne, severe or otherwise, are you more likely to have it yourself? Mm -hmm. Certain studies show that if your parents have acne, then you would be more likely than others to get acne, correct? We have some pictures you sent mm -hmm. that show what we're talking about. As yes. we said, we're not just talking about the, the, right, run the runaway middle. pimple here. Right. This is severe acne. What causes mm -hmm. something like this? Now, you know, this is very devastating to a child, so I think it's so important to talk about the psychological aspect mm -hmm. that we have. You said earlier, we all know that we all get acne but when it's like these pictures are that's when you really want to go in to see a dermatologist because there's so many different treatment options available I mean you really just kind of would like to put your head in the ground but again mm. they're not alone so it's not no. so unusual what do you do for this child I see her bangs are up and I remember when I used to get pimples right, right on the forehead I thought it was because mm. of the bangs well sometimes and I, I brought this picture in because um, it has the gel on it and sometimes the hair products that we use particularly mm. as people of color can cause the acne on the forehead so depending on the location depending on the type would target would uh, target the treatment now how do you target the treatment to these young people that we're seeing with the acne not only in the t-zone and forehead but all, all the, around the, all cheeks. the cheeks and this is a good picture as well with the hyperpigmentation when you have this severe acne this is really when you want to get in and see your dermatologist there's so many different treatments available oral antibiotics as well as topical antibiotics that will not only decrease the bacteria that's in the skin but decrease the inflammation and hopefully decrease the acne does diet contribute as well, mm -hmm. not only what you may prescribe to mm -hmm. be taken internally right. or topically, but also what else mm -hmm. we're doing to our bodies? That's probably the most important question because what's really disconcerting not only is the acne itself, but the patients think that somehow they're causing it, mm -hmm. whether it's by what they're eating or what they're drinking. And studies show that does not play a role. It's more of the hormone levels that occur during the teenage years. Oftentimes, the, some of the hair products we may or may not be using. For these young people mm -hmm. that we see with this degree of acne, will it clear up with the help of a dermatologist and growing older, getting out of <laughs> right. that uh, hormone-filled stage? Certainly, the vast majority of us will grow out of the acne, hopefully, during our late teenage years, early 20s, but there, are, there is hope out there, so don't be discouraged. The key, though, is to use the products. A lot of times, teenagers, I mean, actually adults, including myself, we don't like to use products over and over again mm -hmm. on a daily basis, so it's important to be compliant with the medications. If they have gotten to this level mm -hmm. and maybe not have seen a, a dermatologist and there could be some scarring, yeah. what do you do for that? Uh, there are so many different options available, and what's good about it nowadays is for all skin types. There's lasers, there's chemical peels that can reduce the scarring that acne leaves behind. The main thing is you are not alone. Someone is there who understands that and is can true. help. Mm -hmm. Dr. Brooks, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Next on 9 News Now, we're...